The power loader can be installed by yourself, and we'll show you how to do that on this video. But if you have a friend that can help you, it will make it easier, as they're able to hold things for you while you're tightening things down. For this project, you'll need a socket wrench with a half inch deep well socket, as well as a 7 16 deep well socket and a 7 16 wrench. Now when you open your power loader box, you'll notice a plastic bag containing an instruction booklet as well as all the nuts and bolts and other pieces of hardware that you'll need to install your power loader. It's a good idea to put these items out and arrange them on a table or other workspace so you have easy access to them when you need them. The power loader itself is already assembled. We're just assembling the mounting system to go onto your UTV. First, take a U-bolt and place it around the front of your bumper like you see here. Then lift one of your UTV mounting brackets up and place the U-bolt through the holes. Attach with nuts and washers. You don't need to tighten the nuts all the way down at this point. This will allow us the ability to slide the brackets if we need to for a perfect fit. Now do the same thing on the other side with your second U-bolt and UTV mounting bracket. Next, lift the power loader up against the front of the mounting bracket on your UTV, aligning the holes on the side. You'll notice two sets of holes that you can mount the power loader to. Choose the set of holes that fits your desired height. Now add washers and wing knobs and tighten it down. Once you're satisfied with the positioning of your power loader on the front bumper, tighten down the nuts. Now you're going to attach the ratchet straps to the holes on the bottom of the power loader unit. Right here. And here. Then to the skid plate underneath the bottom of your UTV. Then ratchet them tight. Next, you're going to attach your two tie downs. These are for strapping down your load to the power loader. Very simply, wrap the tie down around the front part of the power loader cradle and then pass the end through the loop and pull it through itself. Finally, you will let out your winch cable. Run the end through the power loader like you see here.
and attach it at this point. Now we're going to show you a couple of important things about using the power loader. To lift the power loader, retract your winch cable and bring the cradle up to the point where it's level off the ground. Now you're going to take your square pins and put them in the slot on each side of the cradle. These pins must be put in place at this point when you have a load. Then continue lifting the power loader by retracting the winch cable till it's all the way up. When your power loader is not in use, you can remove those pins and fold the cradle forward till it's flat. and then replace the pins. For more information on how to use your power loader, check out our video titled, Power Loader, Loading a Deer. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.